one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is a 1989 Ford E350, I believe it's a Class C motorhome, in about a 21 foot coach here. In fact, I believe it's a Coachman Classic, if I'm not mistaken. I'll show you the manuals and all inside. I'm gonna do a quick walk around, just kind of show you quickly the outside of it from afar. And then I'll go up close and show you any minor dings, damages, cracks in the fiberglass, anything like that. Anything wrong with it, I'll show you. I'm gonna have this pole go right in the middle here. Sorry about that. I've kind of got it in here at this spot and I don't have a lot of room with all the cars I've got everywhere to do this. So this is where I'm doing it. Um, by the way, before we get too far into it, I'm pretty sure the, the spare is in need of, that's what the problem happened for this lady that we got this from, is they had a blowout. Um, so, once you're once around, I'm gonna go up close and show you any up close dings, dents, scratches, chips, cracks, anything like that. I'm gonna show you underneath. My website is oneownercarguide.com. You can see about 70, 80 pictures or so on there. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. I do new videos every day here on YouTube. Look at the underneath this thing. Just clean as it gets. So I'm gonna start showing you the outsides and anything around with the paint and all that. And I'll tell you, paint and everything looks pretty straight. Has it been redone at some point? You know, I almost guarantee it has been. Um, looks good, nice and clean. And I'll just start those running boards and the wheel covers. And there's a lot of tread on these, just a lot of tread. That little crack right here. And there's some miscellaneous little cracks like this that have started and that either have been repaired or need to be. Uh, just starting little cracks places. There's an LPG tank in there for propane. Um, little gouges here and there. Um, this has definitely been painted because that looks like it was tan. Uh, little scratches and looks like he scraped it along something almost. Oh, there were stickers on there. I bet you that was stickers. A little wavy right in here, just a little bit because looks like they bottomed out the back end on something and cracked it right here along this grate. And your access for your heater or what have you is in there. I'm not going to take it off right now. It's got a canopy on it and it looks to be in good shape, but I haven't pulled it out. Um, new roof on it. There's a new roof put on this thing. Another crack here. So some repair panel or something maybe, or just leave it. Um, we've been using it as a security type trailer. A little bit of corrosion starting on the bumper right there, just on the bumper paint. Um, it's clean. It's a hitch. Like I say, this tire's blown out, I believe. Did it right there. A little crack right there. Um, that's getting bubbly. It's not really leaking here, and it's still sealed at the top, but it's getting bubbly. Let me show you up on the roof. Let me put this tight around my arm first. Sorry, this will be not all edited together or nothing. There's a crack right here. They repaired a bit. It's not leaking all over inside or nothing, but there was a new roof put on it to where it didn't leak from the outside. Um, everything looks to be jizzed in. That one flipped up, that cover, and so we duct taped it on there. And it's gonna need a new cover to where it can go up and down. Little fix-ups like that, but it's a good working unit. A um, couple cracks in the lens here. Tires, just... In fact, these, I think they just put on it. Yeah, I think they just did the back four. I'm pretty sure. Um, coming down this side, a couple cracks. Not as many as the other side. And also... No generator in this one. This is a connection for the voltage. And actually, I've got it hooked up to that one over there right now. And it's wired on there. So, that's how that one's going to be. There's a crack here. Obviously, a crack there. Cracky crack. And this is separated a little bit. Um, kind of a stowage compartment with some firewood. 
You're ready to go camping. How are you going to beat that? That lock didn't want to twist, and I'm not going to force it right now. Um, so that is pretty much the exterior. Um, looks good. Got its obvious flaws. A little buckly in certain places. Like that's a little, just a teeny bit, but it's there. There's a ripple in it a bit. Uh, windows seem to seal pretty good. One of them doesn't open and close correctly. And that right there looks like it needs a piece of trim kind of fixed a bit. I'd probably recalk a couple things. Um, do this and that. Uh, it's a nice truck. Runs great. I believe it's a 460. Wheel wells and everything. Just look great. And I'm going to show you inside of it and start her up and all that good stuff. So, Nathan, 406-546-8748. I get a lot of these in, that one's in. It's for sale too. That, we're using them, we are using them both as kind of security trailers. And then I had, as you can see, fence posts coming in here. So I'm losing all my parking out here, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, five, 10, 11, 12 spots. So I'm losing a dozen out of 40 spots or so. And I've got to make some room. Outside outlet. Now I'm gonna try and do this with my phone as a light to kind of add some more light to this. And I don't know exactly how this is gonna work. We shall see. Phone, flashlight. Come on. All right. We put this in here for an inside covering. The outside roof was done by the guy before us, and he'd get it from a, a lady at Camp Pendleton up here who had been using it and had pulled something with it, and she pulled something up a grade, and the tranny went. Um, reverse works fine, but the other does not. It's winter and this AC is ice cold, but um, I'm hoping it's just as cold in the summer. Um, everything's, that's kind of hard for that not to be functional. I haven't got to try out the cruise because like I say, it's not been on the road for me. Seats are in good shape, not all torn up or nothing. Um, I believe the miles, Wear on the pedals, just the wear of dirt from sitting around catching dust from the highway. Windshield wipers are working. He's a little power steering fluid. Um, brake lights on. Yep. I thought, oh, the brake's on. Well, the brake wasn't on. Okay, that should be open. The carpeting's in good shape. Little marks in the seat, nothing too big. This one's got some tears along the edge. Other than that, it's in great shape. Carpet, it's just, it's here, man. It's old, it's dated. I think that's for a table. Yeah, pretty sure there's another one there. I don't have the table. However, I have all kinds of manuals. I have manuals for the generator that's not here. Um, you name it, all kinds of stuff. For, it is a Coleman air, con oh, Coleman air conditioner. What? It doesn't tell me. I was kind of hoping to tell me what kind of a coach this was. And there might be something in here that does that. I just don't have it. Norm's RV, maybe this will help. Wow, there's 1412, discount out to 1395. It doesn't say 
doesn't say what kind of RV it was though. Um, I'm trying not to show people's information here. So I am just talking. There's another 1119. New shocks. Engine has missed. Scope out shows electrical good. Inspect inject. Found injector plug and vacuum hoses chewed by rodents. Ah, yeah, they fixed that. So it's 1119. Shocks and all this stuff repaired. Fuel injector. More generator stuff. More receipts. 179 bucks. New customer. Install customer's catalytic converter. So, buku bunches of paperwork and receipts and stuff. Factory truck stuff. Coachman. It is a coachman. Um, the couch here is in good shape. Um, it's dated, you know, it's an older unit. There is a tear in this cushion. Right there. It's in pretty good shape. That wood up there is warped a little. Um, we got covers in there, and they're old and yucky looking. Um, the paper is kind of messed up there, and in a couple places. Um, around the window at the bottom there. Up at the top, it's all wrinkled, as you can see. And like I say, this new roof was put in here, and it looks good. It's not bad, it's just nice, don't leak. They put the new roof on the outside. No fridge. I will throw this one in. You can have this one with it, if you want it. Um, Magic Chef. Ooh, I don't even really think that's ever been used. Look at there. It just snaps right back up. Whoa, the generator had 416 hours on it. Got a microwave in here. Magic Chef also. Wow. Little miscellaneous things. Well, cool. Um, bathroom. This is the one that had the top blow off and it busted the inner piece off. So it needs the inner liner put in. Um, toilet's in good shape and looks nice. Sink is all in good shape. If I was going to replace the carpet anywhere, it'd be in the bathroom. I mean, you just don't, I would want this hall to be wood or something. Really nice and the tub's in great shape and stuff. Everything's in great shape. A little warping on the door there. Nice big bed. Probably want to replace the mattress or something. It's old, original. Um, it's a nice unit. It needs a couple things tinkered with and fixed up. Um, it's got nice chairs. It's a comfortable little thing. It's a pretty big unit on the inside and has a nice layout. That's for sure. Um, Let's see, what else? I don't know what else. I think it's a TV stand there. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is because there's cable and stuff up here. Lights and everything are good. Um, I don't have the hookup over here for it. Extra button covers missing. A couple things. So, not perfect, but in good shape. Um, a little bit more on that there with the uh, wallpaper and behind the fridge. Wow, insulated for the refrigerator. Interesting. There's a hole in that, probably for some kind of a button pull or something. I don't know. And like I say, it's not like this is in bad shape. It's just old. Okay, so that's that. You've seen the inside. You've seen the outside. That's my RV. It's for sale. OneOwnerCarGuy.com light there missing the lens different little things like that probably access for the fridge here oh that's the back of my other fridge right. but here's the hookups if you get a real fridge to put in it well real one not like mine's not real that's in there so i showed you the little cracky cracks along here and different things like that it's just not perfect but it's nice and it does the trick so one owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. Um, The windows, they all pretty much work, but one of them is a little gimpy to work with. Uh, might need a new mechanism put on it. Um, that's that. That's that's the truck. Uh, 
me show you this side of the tires to where you've seen all that. OneOwnerCarGuy.com, lots of pictures and video, full video on there. Yeah, these are nice tires. They're stinking $1,200 worth of tires on this truck. Um, okay, so, run around thing. Oh, and the, um, I've told you everything. That's the deal, that's, that's the RV. I've had people calling me and asking me that RVs like crazy. I haven't been able to get them up lately, and this one is finally up. I just, I gotta get rid of some stuff because I'm being pushed. Anything else you see on my website or here, give me a call, it's for sale. Even the dually. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Thanks for watching, have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are, we'll talk to you. As far as how long it is, I laid the tape right here, so you can see, I'm right in front of that, just to the front of the cab. It's like an inch past, inch and a half. So but going back along that line, it kind of kicks out like that. So if you come down here, it's almost 21. So I don't know if that's 20, 21, 20 and a half, whatever. I just want to show the length of it.